a special interview I've done with Robert Kiyosaki, author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Check it out. I'm here with a couple entrepreneurial legends. Kim Kiyosaki, <laughs> how are you? Great. Robert Kiyosaki. How done? Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Rich Woman. Uh, how many books have you guys sold worldwide, estimated? Well, just Rich Dad, Poor Dad alone is estimated legally produced. There's a lot of pirated <laughs> copies. 33 million. 33 million books. Seven years on New York Times bestseller list. But who's counting? You who's know? counting? No big deal. Talk to people about why network marketing is such a good entrepreneurial decision in the crazy landscape uh, that we deal with in today's economy. Well, as we know, there's fewer and fewer jobs. You know, American corporations say they're hiring, but they're not hiring in America, they're hiring overseas. But more than that is that the reason I endorse network marketing is most people are addicted to the paycheck. And the paycheck is one of the most sinister plots ever pulled upon a human being. If you need a paycheck, you've sold your soul. You know, you've sold your body, your mind, your spirit, and your emotions. You sit there in fear of losing your job, or can I get a raise, or you know, will I get promoted? I mean, and then, and then, why would you do that? Another thing about when we, we endorse network marketing, we don't think of it as a network marketing. We think of it as entrepreneur development. Mm -hmm. Because if you need a paycheck, this is not your business. You know, we build businesses. So sometimes when Kim and I do a deal, we, we may not receive a paycheck for five, six years. You know, and so these guys come, oh, am I gonna get rich quick? You know, and some people do, I don't know if you do or not, but that is an employee, get rich, loser mindset. And so the thing that network marketing does is really kind of cure you of that loser paycheck, get rich quick mentality and actually build a business. You know, we build businesses, but, and that's how we're rich, but we didn't get rich quick and I don't need a paycheck. I never want a paycheck. So that's kind of a revolutionary thought to most people up there who went to school to get good grades and get a job, you know, and then you get a high paying job and the, the higher paying job, you, you pay higher taxes. And you wonder why you never get ahead. That's because you went to school to get a job and a paycheck. You've got to get away from the paycheck and sometimes it might take two, three years to get away from that. And that's what network marketing teaches people. It's an entrepreneur's mindset. It's an entrepreneur's spirit, not a loser employee. I need a paycheck mentality. I love that. I love that, the fact of uh, the paycheck being evil. It's evil. Well, just look at the tax system. Just the people that have, pay, have paychecks pay the highest taxes. Now, why would you do that? Well, if you had a little financial education, you had a business, the tax laws swing to your favor immediately. You, if you, you, have, you have a full-time job, we're not saying quit your job, keep a full-time job, you know, then start a part-time business, and then call your accountant. Because the moment you start a part-time business, the tax laws shift to your favor. So all of these guys who are crying the blues, I'm paying too much in tax, because you're a loser. You're working for a paycheck, get it? You know what I mean? <laughs> you don't want a paycheck. What you want is passive income, you know? You, you want income that comes from assets, not from labor. It's a very different mindset. So if you want to get rich quick, that's a bad mindset. Yeah. You know, you know another, terrible the mindset. other thing too about that entrepreneurial mindset is because I see a lot of people and their 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 comment is I don't have I don't have any money. I can't do this because I don't have money. I can't invest because I don't have any money. I can't build a business because I don't have any money. Yet by not having money, because when we started out, we 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 started. I, out I was business, down eight hundred twenty thousand yeah. bucks. You know, what I mean that's a lot of money to most people. My friend Donald Trump was down a billion didn't stop us, we yeah, just keep going. That's, and that's you know? the point, we, we didn't have money to start up, we didn't have money to invest, but it didn't stop us and we kept figuring it out. And because of that, <laughs> it made us smarter, it made us more creative, we had to figure out how to get the money, we had to figure out how to sell ourselves and, and sell our ideas. I mean, not having the money actually was a benefit, but so many people are afraid of not having money that they don't take that. And, this, and the very skills it takes to be a great entrepreneur is required in network marketing. You've got, you start with nothing. You're asking people to work for no paycheck and you have to build a business. 
your hardest task in network marketing is taking that loser I need a paycheck mentality and transforming it. If you can do that, you'll be successful. I'm not saying it's easy, yeah. but that is your job. And the reason Kim and I endorse network marketing is because unemployment keeps going through the roof, wages keep coming down, and we keep saying to our kids, go to school, get a paycheck. I mean, we're, we're killing our kids that way. We're killing their spirit. You need a paycheck. Every time you take a paycheck, you sell your soul, you sell your mind, you sell your emotions, you sell your body. And your time. And your time, well, same thing. But anyway, that's why we endorse it. And for America to go back to prosperity, or the world to go back to prosperity, we need more entrepreneurs. We don't need any more employees, get it? You actually, <laughs> you actually sell your freedom. Yeah. You sell your freedom. When yeah, that's the biggest part. That people that talk about paycheck. financial freedom. They don't know what it's like to not need a paycheck. The moment you don't need a paycheck, you're free. And then people say, well, what if you lose everything? Well, we didn't have anything to start. We can make it back again. It's about the skills, isn't it? Because like, like you say, it's, it's, it's not about having resources no. or money or investment mm -hmm. to start. It's about being resourceful. It's about right. you find a way. As an entrepreneur, you find a way. You don't have enough money to, to get your inventory. You find a way. You, you solve that problem. You don't have uh, this or that. You just find a way. That, like when you're 800000 in debt, you found a way. When Donald Trump was a billion dollars in debt, he found a way. Right, you know? right. It's um, the skills. It's the confidence self-assuredness, um, all of that. So it, it just really kind of cracks me up. I mean, it's not funny, but it's kind of cruel, but it's also funny. You know, you go, why would you sell your soul for a paycheck when you're going to pay tax? <laughs> it doesn't make sense. If you build a business, you make more money and don't pay tax, but it takes time. And once you have it, it's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn how to build a business, you're not afraid of losing the business anymore. Because if you take it away, you, you'll do it again. It's like with a bicycle, you fall down, get back up. But people have never fallen down, never rode a bicycle, never learned to walk. You're always afraid of losing that paycheck. And that you sold your soul. Yeah. So one, working together is amazing. Uh, two, with what's going on in the world, working for a paycheck is is uh, it's insane. Is is a bad game. It's a bad. It's an decision. old idea. It's an old old idea. The I you know employees are industrial age ideas. You know, I wrote that book, Business of the 21st Century. Business of the 21st Century is your entrepreneurs, you build business, and you work for passive income, not, you know, what do you call that? Paycheck income. Paycheck income. Yeah, we got to come up with some nasty name for that. <laughs> no, it's called, it's called ordinary income. Ordinary there are income. three kinds of income. Ordinary, portfolio, and passive. And employees work for ordinary. When you save money, that's ordinary income. When you invest in a 401k, it's ordinary income. You're the biggest losers. I mean, they teach you to, to be the biggest losers. Go to school, get a job, work hard for ordinary income, save money, ordinary income, and invest in a 401k. Ordinary income. You got to be nuts. And, and, when, and when you're building a your network marketing business, you are working for passive income. Because you're, and, and once I got that idea of getting, changing my mindset from focusing on ordinary income on my, the paycheck and income coming in from, from work to passive income, that made all the difference. And the government gives you tax incentives for passive income because you're doing what the government wants you to do, like provide jobs, and we build houses, and we also invest in oil wells. We need oil. But if you put your money in a savings account and a 401k, they tax you. <laughs> I think that's funny, personally. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you say to the kid, go to school? Work hard, save money, and invest in a 401k and get taxed to death. Before, well, before we turn the cameras on, you were talking about people going back to school. Yeah. The, you, the huge rise in, uh, in, in college debt. Well, let me show you these charts, okay? This is a chart called Sally Mae. Sally Mae is like Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, and all this other stuff. But Sally Mae shows the cost uh, of college debt is going up. It's now over a trillion dollars. College debt is worse than credit card debt. And I'll, I won't go into why, but, co but s college debt is now higher than credit card debt. But worst of all, when you look at this next chart, you'll see wages of college graduates are going down. That's pretty cruel. So these kids, the parents are saying to the kid, go back to school. The parents go back to school, they get deeper in debt, and their wages go down. And this next chart is even more disturbing. What you'll see here is a chart of what's happening to the middle class. Middle class income is going this way, not this way. And then the last chart, well, the second to last chart is this. 
This is the chart of working poor. So where are the, where's the middle class going? They're now in the working poor. And this is food stamp usage. Over the years, food stamp usage keeps going up. These people are good people, hard working. The trouble is they don't make enough money to survive. Now the good news is they're perfect candidates for network marketing, you know, stuff like this. But you look at what's going on in America, so people are on food stamps now. Or you can just go an entitlement program and pay no tax at all, and that's going up also. So we're, America's in a mess. But the biggest threat, I think, coming up is Social Security. As for guys my age, look at Social Security. It's now bankrupt. It is today bankrupt. And many people are saying, oh, I'm going to count on Social Security. I said, you may as well count on the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. You know what I mean? You've got to wake up. And so this is the very last chart. This is the national debt of America. You know, It just keeps going up. So if you're going to school, getting a job, working hard, saving money, counting on 401k, Social Security, and think the government's going to take care of you, you may as well bet on Santa Claus. <laughs>